Hannibal Barca, the Carthaginian general, is often hailed as one of the greatest military strategists in history. His audacious crossing of the Alps during the Second Punic War is a feat that remains etched in history as a testament to his ingenuity, perseverance, and leadership. This video delves into the life of Hannibal, focusing on his legendary Alpine crossing and its impact on the Roman Republic. Hannibal Barca's early life and military upbringing played a crucial role in shaping him into one of the most formidable military commanders in history. Born into a family of prominent military leaders in Carthage, a powerful city-state in North Africa, Hannibal's destiny was profoundly influenced by the geopolitical and military environment of his time. Birth and Family Background Born in 247 BC, Hannibal was the eldest son of Hamilcar Barca, a respected Carthaginian general and statesman. The Barca family was part of Carthage's aristocracy and held significant influence in both political and military spheres. This environment provided Hannibal with an early exposure to military affairs and the long-standing conflict between Carthage and Rome, known as the Punic Wars. Influence of Hamilcar Barca Hamilcar Barca played a pivotal role in Hannibal's upbringing. After suffering defeat in the First Punic War against Rome, Hamilcar sought to consolidate Carthaginian power in Spain as a base for future conflicts. Hannibal, accompanying his father from a young age, witnessed firsthand the military campaigns and governance strategies employed by Hamilcar in Spain. This experience was invaluable in understanding military tactics, leadership, and the complex relationship between Carthage and Rome. Swearing enmity towards Rome a defining moment in Hannibal's early life was when he swore a blood oath at the behest of his father. According to Livy, a Roman historian, Hamilcar made the nine-year-old Hannibal swear eternal hostility towards Rome. This oath was not just a symbolic gesture, it ingrained in Hannibal a sense of destiny and a lifelong commitment to opposing Rome, influencing his later decisions and strategies. Military Training and Leadership Skills from his teenage years, Hannibal was trained in warfare and military leadership, skills that were essential for a higher-ranking Carthaginian commander. He learned not only the art of combat, but also strategies in diplomacy, intelligence, and logistics. His exposure to various cultures and languages in the Mediterranean and Iberian Peninsula contributed to his versatile and adaptive approach to military campaigns. Ascension to Military Command after the assassination of Hamilcar, command of the Carthaginian forces in Spain passed to Hannibal's brother-in-law, Hasdrubal, and eventually to Hannibal himself at the age of 26. His appointment as commander was a testament to his recognized military acumen and leadership qualities. Hannibal's swift rise through the ranks of the Carthaginian military was a precursor to his ambitious campaign against Rome, including his legendary crossing of the Alps. In summary, Hannibal Barca's early life and military upbringing were instrumental in shaping his character and military genius. His exposure to warfare, leadership training, and the influence of his father, Hamilcar, laid the foundation for his later achievements. The oath of enmity towards Rome, sworn in his youth, set the stage for his relentless pursuit of military campaigns against Rome, marking him as one of history's most renowned military strategists. The Second Punic War, which erupted in 218 BC, was one of the pivotal conflicts of the ancient world, fundamentally altering the course of history for both Rome and Carthage. This war, marked by its scale, intensity, and the remarkable military campaigns of Hannibal Barca, was fueled by deep-rooted animosities and strategic rivalries between the two great powers of the Mediterranean. Roots of the Conflict the seeds of the Second Punic War were sown in the aftermath of the First Punic War, 264-241 BC, which had left Carthage weakened and financially strained, but not entirely subdued. Carthage's loss in the First Punic War, particularly its surrender of Sicily to Rome, fostered a sense of resentment and a desire for retribution, especially within the Barca family. Carthaginian Expansion in Spain Following the First Punic War, Carthage, under the leadership of Hamilcar Barca and later his son-in-law Hasdrubal, expanded its influence in Spain. This expansion was partly an effort to compensate for the loss of territories and revenues after the first conflict with Rome. 
Spain not only offered rich resources, including silver mines, but also served as a strategic base for Carthage to rebuild its military strength. Hannibal's Rise and Strategic Intentions Hannibal's ascension to command in Spain marked a decisive turn in Carthaginian foreign policy. Recognizing the inevitability of renewed conflict with Rome, Hannibal prepared meticulously, consolidating Carthaginian control in Spain and building a formidable army. His capture of Saguntum, a city allied with Rome, in 219 BC, directly challenged Roman interests and served as the immediate catalyst for the Second Punic War. Rome's Response and Declaration of War Rome perceived Hannibal's actions in Spain as a direct threat to its interests and hegemony in the region. The Roman Senate, already wary of Carthage's resurgence, demanded that Carthage surrender Hannibal as retribution for his aggression. Carthage's refusal to comply led Rome to declare war in 218 BC, marking the official start of the Second Punic War. Strategic Implications The outbreak of the Second Punic War had significant strategic implications for both Rome and Carthage. For Rome, it was a fight to maintain its rising dominance in the Mediterranean and to subdue a resurgent Carthaginian threat. For Carthage, and particularly for Hannibal, it was an opportunity to avenge the losses of the First Punic War and to challenge Rome's supremacy. In summary, the outbreak of the Second Punic War was more than just a territorial or diplomatic dispute. It was a clash of two great powers, driven by a history of conflict, economic interests, and strategic ambitions. The war would not only shape the future of Rome and Carthage, but also leave an enduring legacy in military history, primarily through the extraordinary campaigns of Hannibal Barca. The decision by Hannibal Barca to cross the Alps in 218 BC with a massive army, including war elephants, stands as one of the most audacious military maneuvers in history. This bold move was not only a testament to Hannibal's daring and strategic genius, but also a pivotal moment in the Second Punic War, dramatically shifting its dynamics. Strategic Context After securing a strong position in Spain, Hannibal sought a direct and impactful way to bring the war to Rome's doorstep. The traditional overland route to Rome, through the Roman Allied territory in southern Gaul, modern-day France, was heavily guarded and would have been expected. Hannibal's decision to cross the Alps was strategically aimed at avoiding these defenses and surprising Rome by attacking from an unexpected direction. Logistical Challenges The logistical challenges of such an endeavor were immense. The Alps were a formidable natural barrier, featuring rugged terrain, steep inclines, and unpredictable weather. The journey would require moving tens of thousands of soldiers, cavalry, and, most notably, several war elephants across this treacherous landscape. The preparation for this undertaking involved meticulous planning in terms of supplies, route selection, and timing. Motivation and Morale Hannibal's ability to motivate and maintain the morale of his troops was crucial. The journey through the Alps was not only physically grueling, but also a test of psychological endurance. Hannibal's leadership, charisma, and the loyalty he inspired in his men were key factors in keeping the army cohesive and determined despite the hardships. Navigating the Alps. The exact route Hannibal took through the Alps remains a topic of historical debate, but it is agreed that it was an extraordinary feat of navigation and endurance. Hannibal employed local guides, although their reliability and loyalty were questionable. The army faced natural hazards such as rock slides, avalanches, and freezing temperatures, in addition to resistance from local tribes. Impact of the crossing. The crossing of the Alps, though costly in terms of lives and resources, had a significant psychological impact. It demonstrated Hannibal's resolve and strategic daring, surprising the Romans and gaining him allies in northern Italy. The arrival of his army in the Italian peninsula shifted the focus of the war putting Rome on the defensive and illustrating the vulnerability of the Roman heartland to external invasion. In conclusion, Hannibal's decision to cross the Alps was a decision marked by its boldness and high risk, showcasing his qualities as a military commander. This move not only exemplified Hannibal's ingenuity and determination, but also significantly altered the course of the Second Punic War, establishing Hannibal as one of history's greatest military strategists. 
The Alpine crossing remains a symbol of overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles in the pursuit of ambitious goals. Hannibal Barca's crossing of the Alps in 218 BC with his Carthaginian army, including cavalry and war elephants, remains one of the most daring military undertakings in history. The journey was arduous, fraught with natural and man-made challenges, testing the limits of human endurance and strategic warfare. Preparation for the journey. Before embarking on this perilous journey, Hannibal meticulously prepared his army, which historians estimate included around 50,000 infantry, 9,000 cavalry, and a number of war elephants. His preparations involved gathering enough provisions, securing the loyalty of his troops, and planning the logistics of moving such a large force over the treacherous Alpine terrain. Challenges of Terrain and Climate The Alps presented formidable challenges. Steep, rocky paths, narrow trails beside precipitous drops, and the risk of avalanches and rockslides. Furthermore, the army had to contend with the harsh Alpine weather, which included freezing temperatures, snow, and ice, particularly challenging for soldiers and animals accustomed to the Mediterranean climate. Hostility from local tribes. The journey was complicated by attacks from local tribes who inhabited the Alpine region. These tribes saw Hannibal's army as an invading force and frequently engaged in guerrilla tactics, ambushing the Carthaginians in difficult terrain, adding to the expedition's casualties and difficulties. The Elephants a logistical challenge. The war elephants, while providing a significant psychological and combat advantage, posed a unique logistical challenge. Transporting these massive animals across such inhospitable terrain was an unprecedented feat, requiring special care in terms of feeding, handling, and guiding them along the narrow alpine paths. Casualties and losses. The crossing took a heavy toll on Hannibal's army. Historians estimate that a significant portion of his forces perished during the journey due to the harsh conditions, lack of food, skirmishes with local tribes, and the treacherous nature of the terrain. Despite these losses, the core of Hannibal's army, including most of the elephants, survived the crossing, a testament to the resilience and determination of the Carthaginian force. Arrival in Italy Emerging from the Alps into the Italian peninsula, Hannibal's army was significantly reduced but still formidable. The successful completion of the crossing, despite the losses, was a psychological triumph. It boosted the morale of his troops and shocked the Roman Republic, which had not anticipated such a bold move. In summary, Hannibal's crossing of the Alps was an arduous journey marked by extreme challenges and significant losses. However, it stands as a monumental achievement in military history, showcasing Hannibal's leadership, the endurance of his army, and their collective ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. This daring feat not only brought the Second Punic War to the heart of Roman territory, but also cemented Hannibal's reputation as one of the greatest military commanders of all time. The successful crossing of the Alps by Hannibal and his Carthaginian army in 218 BC had profound and lasting effects on the Roman Republic. This bold maneuver not only reshaped military tactics, but also had significant political, psychological, and strategic impacts on Rome. Immediate military impact. Hannibal's emergence in northern Italy caught the Roman Republic unprepared. The Romans had anticipated a confrontation in Spain or a naval battle and were not prepared for an overland invasion from the north. The sudden appearance of a formidable Carthaginian army in Italy forced Rome to quickly shift its military focus and strategy. Hannibal's subsequent victories in battles like Trebia, Lake Trasimene, and Cannae were direct consequences of his surprise entry into Italian territory. Psychological Impact on Rome The presence of a hostile army traversing the Italian countryside had a significant psychological impact on the Roman populace and leadership. Hannibal's ability to cross the Alps and win successive battles against Roman forces shattered the aura of Roman invincibility. The fear and uncertainty this created within Rome were profound, leading to panic, the questioning of military leadership, and a strain on resources. Political ramifications. The Roman Senate faced a crisis of confidence as Hannibal continued to win battles on Roman soil. The situation called for extraordinary measures, leading to the appointment of dictators and the restructuring of Roman military command. 
The strain of the war effort also exposed the vulnerabilities in Rome's political and social structure, leading to internal strife and debates about strategy and leadership. Alliances and Diplomacy Hannibal's presence in Italy influenced the dynamics of Roman alliances. Several Roman allies, particularly among the Gallic tribes of northern Italy and some in the south, defected to Hannibal, viewing him as a liberator from Roman dominance. Hannibal's diplomacy further strained Rome's alliances, though he found varying degrees of success in securing long-term support. Long-term military and strategic changes. In response to Hannibal's tactics, the Roman military had to adapt and evolve. The disastrous defeat at Cannae, where a large Roman army was encircled and annihilated, led to significant tactical and strategic reforms in the Roman military. Rome adopted more flexible and varied tactics, moving away from the rigid manipular legion formation. The Romans also learned the importance of strategic patience and avoiding direct engagement with Hannibal in favor of a war of attrition. Catalyst for Roman Expansion Ironically, the Second Punic War and Hannibal's initial successes became a catalyst for Rome's expansion. The need to secure its borders and prevent future invasions led to Roman expansion into Spain, North Africa, and parts of the Eastern Mediterranean. Rome emerged from the war more powerful and expansive than before. In conclusion, Hannibal's crossing of the Alps and subsequent campaigns in Italy had a multifaceted impact on the Roman Republic. It challenged Rome militarily, psychologically, and politically, forcing significant adaptations in Roman military tactics, diplomacy, and internal politics. While Hannibal's invasion initially threatened the very heart of the Roman Republic, it ultimately contributed to Rome's transformation into a more robust and expansive power in the Mediterranean world. While Hannibal eventually did not succeed in conquering Rome and was later forced to return to Carthage, his Alpine crossing remains a highlight of military history. It showcased his qualities as a leader and strategist and has been studied and admired by military leaders for centuries. In summary, the epic story of Hannibal Barca and his crossing of the Alps is a saga of courage, strategic brilliance, and perseverance against the odds. This remarkable event not only showcased Hannibal's military genius, but also had a lasting impact on the Roman Republic and the course of Western history. Hannibal's journey through the Alps stands as a testament to what can be achieved through determination and innovative thinking, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges.